everyone, this is Sultan with the WP Funnels team. And in my last video, I showed you how you can assign the default product for which you're gonna create this funnel, all right? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you the configure options available in the checkout step and in the thank you step, all right? So let's get started. Now, as you can see, this is the funnel that I left off last time. Uh, let me just click on the checkout step and then click on the configure button. Once you click on it, it brings you to this drawer and as I showed you last time, you can click here and search for the product and then click on add, all right? Now here you can choose quantity of the product you wanna offer. So let's say uh, in this particular funnel, I want to send two eBooks at once, so I can choose two here, but that really doesn't make sense. Usually we sell one eBooks at once. I'll just leave it to one. Now let's say I added a product by mistake. I want to use another product. I can just click on this one to remove this, all right? And again, uh, I can add more products. Now I was actually planning on making this funnel for that particular uh, book. So I'll just add that again, right? So you see, I selected this product and then I click on add product and you'll see that the product is added. And then just click on save changes. Now you see this option that says allow use of coupon. This is basically when a person is at the checkout page, will he have the option to add a coupon? You can enable this to allow him to add coupon, uh, but the best practice is to disable this because uh, usually when you make a funnel, you probably already have plans to give discounts. So when you apply discounts, allowing them to get a coupon, you still get a discount over a discount. So uh, we, do, we want to avoid that, all right? Now you can see there is another option which says order bump. If you click on this, uh, this will allow you to add an order bump at the checkout, but we will learn about that in a future video. All right, let's not move on too fast, all right? And you can see that there's another option we are preparing, which is edit fields. Basically, we will allow you to customize the checkout page fields. And we will also try to implement the other feature we are hopeful about, you know, allowing you to change the colors and style of the fields as well, all right? So that is all coming soon, okay? So for now, these are all the options you have in the configure step. So let me just cross out the drawer for checkout. Let me move on to the thank you step. And if I click on the configure button, this will also open up a drawer. And here you can see that I have the option to choose uh, which details I want to show uh, in my thank you page, all right? So some people don't want to show the billing address and shipping details in the thank you page. They just give the order overview and the details. But if you want, uh, you can add all of them. You can remove any one of them if you want by just unchecking them, all right? And then there's the edit fields option here as well, which uh, is still coming soon, All right, You can choose what fields to include in each of these uh, default options that WooCommerce provides. So you can customize your thank you page as well, All right? So then once you're happy with the changes you make, let's say I don't want to show the shipping details, or rather I show the shipping details, but not the billing details, then I can just click on save changes and this will be saved, all right? So now you have configured everything you need to do uh, in the funnel planning canvas, the next thing to do is to start designing your funnel steps, okay? So in my next video, I'll show you how you can edit this landing page and prepare it uh, for marketing your products, all right? So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.